guys, what's up? Well, parts are starting to come in and uh, figured I would do an unboxing for everything just so I can show you what I got. I kind of already went over uh, some things that I was getting. There are a few things that I didn't mention that are coming in as well. Um, so I'll kind of leave that up uh, as a little bit of a surprise. Uh, not that it's anything crazy exciting, but hey, you know, it's more car parts. But um, this, I believe, I haven't opened any of this yet, so I haven't seen anything. So you guys are going to see my first reaction and just what I think initially and kind of see how things are, are packaged and, and uh, you know, contained in the boxes to make sure it arrives safely. Um, so I don't know what is in what. I mean, I have a feeling I know what the longer box is, but. Uh, let me open it up on camera so you can see exactly what I got and then we'll go over kind of just my initial thoughts and everything and uh, I'll be doing separate videos on each uh, part uh, you know just my overall install and just what I think kind of like a conclusion uh, like a comprehensive review just so if anybody's interested in any one of those specific parts they can just go to that video as opposed to me just opening uh, a bunch of things on camera and kind of having to search through each video uh, so with this it kind of it's a little bit easier for somebody that's looking for that specific part let's get to opening the boxes uh, we'll start with the small one first mainly because there's just more room uh, on here for the smaller box the bigger one's a little bit harder so let me get my razor and i don't know what any of this is yet i mean i know what i ordered obviously or what i got but um you know i don't know what's in this specific box but let's find out so Again, I got all this stuff from Subi Speed. They've been really good to me over the years. I've gotten a lot of stuff from them. Um, so let's see what I got here. In this box is <laughs> one item. <laughs> this is the um, OLM gas cap. It's the anodized red. Uh, <laughs> it's so funny, this is in this giant box. Uh, my guess is it's coming from a different uh, company or a different uh, distributor, so that's why it's in a separate box. Otherwise, uh, probably would all been in the same one. But um, let's open it up, take a quick look. It comes in this nice little felt thing. I mean, it's plastic, but you get the idea. Um, it's in the, pot and the cellophane wrap or whatever. Uh, they give you a cleaner because when uh, you do install it, you have to clean off your gas cap really, really well because this is just held on by some 3M tape. Um, but this is really nice. I mean, I don't know if you can hear. It is metal. It's anodized metal, so it is it is, it is nice quality. Uh, I know it's, it's literally just a cover that goes on top, um, but it has a little bit of weight to it, so it, it kind of just makes it... Um, I guess a little bit nicer when you do open the gas cap. It's like a little jewel or something. Um, to me, this is the kind of stuff that I like doing because it's, you don't really expect it. And then, you know, when you when you open certain things or look for certain parts of the car, uh, you find little details like this. Um, and to me, this is something that um, I think it's pretty cool. It's very small, it's very simple. It doesn't, literally doesn't do anything other than look cool. Um, but hey, it's pretty cheap. So if it's something that somebody wants to do, I uh, definitely recommend picking this up. So now let's open the big boy. This is, uh, I guess, where all the other main stuff is. Um, I mean, I know, again, I know what this stuff is, so it's not going to be a surprise, but uh, I don't know. I'm excited about these parts. <laughs> all right, so we got one box. Again, I'll open these up to show you. We got boxes and boxes. Two box. Another long box inside of a box. And then, ah, this one, which I'm sure you can tell what it is. All right, so let's start with the small box. Um, this is the Turbo Smart uh, Compact. It's not a blow off valve, it's a beat bypass valve. This is BOV, so hopefully they didn't give me the wrong one. Um, nope, <laughs> got the right one. Um, so, as I kind of mentioned, uh, in a few other videos. I actually had this exact one on my WRX or the one made for the WRX. Um, and basically what this is, it's, it's basically a stronger, much nicer looking version of the stock uh, bypass valve. Um, and this is a fully recirculating bypass valve. You don't want, uh, on, on a pretty much stock STI, uh, you don't want to blow off valve. It's just asking for bad news. It's asking for your motor to blow. It's asking, it's not, it's not a good time. 
there's basically three types. There's a bypass valve, which is full recirculating. And then there's 50-50, which does, you know, full recirculating. And also uh, it's like a blow off valve as well. So you kind of get that sound, but it's a little bit safer. Um, and then you obviously have the full blow off valve. Um, they, and they do have some hybrids that are able to change back and forth. Um, like the HKS, I know they have, uh, it's a full blow off valve, but they have a kit that allows you to become fully recirculating. Uh, but I wanted something that was that was made to recirculate. Uh, I didn't want I didn't want to mess with anything else. I just want something um, that I know and trust. And um, and this is exactly uh, what I got. I wanted something that was basically like stock, but it added a little bit a little bit of cool noise. Um, but it wasn't going to affect my tune or, or the way my engine performed. Um, and this is obviously a little, this is obviously stronger than the stock bypass valve. The stock bypass valve I've heard and I've read and I've researched uh, can hold a decent amount of power. Um, I've heard it's anywhere from 400 to 450, which is pretty crazy for a stock bypass valve. Um, so, I, you know, I'm obviously nowhere there near those numbers, but even so, I will be, I will have the security uh, just knowing that this is a much safer unit um, and it'll it'll hold boost exactly where it needs to be and it won't uh, you know won't do any boost leaks or anything like that so uh, I was really happy with this one on my WRX uh, so I decided to go for it and put this one on my STI so um, and also it's a nice black so it'll, it'll kind of go with my engine bay really nicely uh, I won't be too blingy or a crazy color that doesn't match at all um, so basically what you get in the kit is obviously the bypass valve you get a gasket that you obviously want to use. Um, you get a cool little sticker, which I probably won't put anywhere. Um, and you get two, uh, two screws. Um, so you're basically, you're going to be using, uh, we're going to go over the install when I do install it, um, but you're going to be using the, um, the OEM elbow that comes right here. So you're just going to screw that right to this. Uh, and this goes right onto the intercooler. So it's a very simple install. This goes to the vacuum line. It's very simple. Um, it's not going to take long, at least I hope not. You never know with these things. Um, but uh, uh, I'm really happy I got this and it feels really nice. Next up, uh, I'm pretty sure I know what this is just because of the size of the box. Um, this is something that I've had in my cart for a long time and I've talked about for quite a while. Um, and uh, it's just something that I wanted to try, mainly because uh, I have a few carbon fiber parts around the car, but nothing on the front. And I feel like the front was lacking a little bit. And I'm, I'm a firm believer that you can add too much carbon fiber to a car. And uh, I didn't want to do that. So I just wanted to add small touches and kind of tie things into the front compared to the back and the sides. Um, so I opted for the uh, OLM um, carbon fiber grill trim. And this is for the 2015 to 17. Uh, 2018, they changed the front bumper, so the grill is a little bit different. Uh, they have different options for you uh, if you're looking for carbon fiber for your type of grill, but this is specifically for the um, 15 to 17. So, as you can see, it's full carbon fiber. Um, you just, it literally just sticks right over the, uh, uh, the, the stock piece, the stock, stock gloss black that they use right there. So it's very simple install. Just having that little touch of carbon fiber on it, um, Kind of adds a little bit to the car and i think it'll look really cool and uh everything looks really good there's no there's no chips or anything or um you know weird weird um, folds in the carbon fiber it looks really nice so this is again this is gonna be a full video on this as well uh going over it installing it what i think about it and everything um, and obviously i'll show you you know step by step of how to do that um again it's not going to be crazy install or hard or anything but um, again, it might be, it might interest some people uh, that are looking to put this on their car. So that's pretty cool. Really happy with that. That looks uh, really nice. All right, last but not least is the uh, the main event. Something <laughs> that uh, is a little bit expensive. Um, kind of, I, I always had this in my cart and I always saw people putting it on their, their cars and I always wanted it, but I just could never do it. Um, mainly because of the price and simply because of uh, just how much this doesn't really do anything for the car other than look cool. Um, but it was that time that I was just like, hey, I wanna do it. I'm doing stuff in the engine bay now, so let's get it done. These are the carbon fiber Fender covers on, like, on the side. Um, CB Speed has, there's a couple different versions out now, um, but this is, um, this is the version one, which I prefer. There's a version two, uh, which is a little bit different. It has a little bit more vents. Uh, there's a couple more things on it. The, the actual vents are already taped on or, or pre-adhered uh, to, the, to the piece. Uh, they also have a, um, 
like a trim around it to, to, when it goes against the paint so it's a little, it doesn't scratch it and everything. Uh, there's also another one, I think Subi Bros sells it. Uh, there's no vents at all, which I kind of think is nice because uh, you get more carbon fiber. Uh, but I kind of prefer this version. I'd rather, uh, the version two has more vents as I said, so there's not as much carbon fiber showing, there's just more vents. Uh, and it's $100 more. Uh, so with this one, there's, a, there's less vents and there's more carbon fiber being shown. Uh, and and I, based on what people are saying, this also helps cool the engine bay because it uh, allows heat to escape. Whether I believe that or not, uh, you know, that's up to you. Uh, but it is another place for, the, for all the hot air to kind of escape. It doesn't really go anywhere. It obviously just goes straight into the fender, <laughs> but um, it, is, it is an escape for hot air. So, um, who knows if it'll do anything, but it's, I guess it's kind of me rationalizing uh, paying for it. <laughs> but this is what you get in the package. Um, there's nothing else in the box. So let's open this up. Comes vacuum sealed, which is nice. You know, it's not some tape job or anything like that. They're also wrapped in uh, the, the foam right here. And it comes with more 3M tape, which is nice though, because I use this stuff for, for everything. And uh, I keep getting rolls of this stuff for any carbon fiber part that I get from Subi Speed to install things. Um, and I'll show you what this is for in a second, but um, it's nice to have that. So let's get this open and check it out. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff from Subi Speed over the years, as I said, um, and I've only had a couple it was only one, I wouldn't say bad experience, but one uh, time when I got, I posted a video about it where I got a bad, a bad part. Um, and thankfully they resurrected the issue, no problem. Um, and it was a carbon fiber part. So I've been a little hesitant to buy any carbon fiber from, from a company now, just cause it's all basically the same stuff. Um, and I just don't want to be, you know, my, my, my level of detail is a little bit higher than, I guess, some people's. Um, so I tend to look for this stuff and I want something perfect if I'm gonna put it on my car. So um, hopefully these look good. Hopefully these look good and are up to my standards. But let's take a look. Very cool. So as you can see, this is actual carbon fiber. <laughs> uh, from what I can tell, yeah, it looks like it. Um, sometimes a lot of these things are just like fiberglass or plastic and they lay a carbon fiber uh, weave over top. And um, I am noticing some defects on this. So we might have to go through the whole process of uh, reaching out to CV Speed and see if we can get uh, a new one sent. I don't know if you guys can really tell. Um, in the corner, let me see if I can get some light here. Let me just bring the camera over here. Probably much easier. So you can see in this corner here, it looks like a buildup of the resin. Um, and just all bubbly there. It just looks like a pool uh, of the coating that they use on top. And it doesn't look too nice there. Um, you can tell here, the weave is a little messed up. You can see things missing here. It looks like it was stretched. Um, you know, because if you look down here, this is totally fine. But once you get over here, the weave kind of gets messed up. And there's some weird lines going here. So, and there's also some right here. There's some uh, uh, clouding in the uh, resin or the coating, the clear coat that they use there in that corner. Um, hmm. And even right there, it's, there's no carbon fiber. It's just clear. <laughs> so it looks like we have a few issues, unfortunately. Um, so I'm not gonna be installing these in a, in a video too soon because I'm gonna reach out to Subi Speed um, and get this get this resolved. I'm, I'm confident that they will uh, have it resolved and fix it for me, because I have in the past. Um, but unfortunately, you know, this is this is the second time I'm dealing with a carbon fiber piece that has some some defects issues. Um, you know, the the front grill, the front grill trim that I had just opened re before uh, was totally fine, but this one, I don't know for. And this is the most expensive piece. You know, this is 
two, 300 bucks. Um, so having something this expensive and just not up to my standards is, uh, it doesn't sit well with me. Um, so unfortunately I'm going to have to reach out and hopefully, yeah, you can see all the defects here. And this is the main part. That's like the main part that's going to be showing too, you know, what I'm going to be seeing when I open it up. So, um, hopefully they take care of me and get something out quickly so I can make a video for you guys and installing it and, and hopefully, uh, showing you a resolution video of how they handled it. Uh, but for now, let's open the other one, uh, just to make sure that there's no defects in that. I'm sure they're going to have me break these in half like I did with my uh, roof spoiler, like they made me do. Um, so who knows? We'll see. Uh, but this is the second time so it is a little frustrating um, and mainly because of how expensive this piece was so we'll see what they do just for continuity let's just open this one and see how this one turns out hopefully it's not uh, in as bad of shape as that one so i don't know if they'll just send me out that one side or they're gonna have to send me a full set again um, i don't know how it works but two different pieces uh, the last time it was just um, it was just one roof spoiler, so they just had to send out a new one of those. Uh, but let's see how this one is. Something tells me it's going to be very similar because it's probably from a similar batch or the same batch. So here is the, I believe, the driver's side, and this one looks much better. Yep, way better. I'm happier with this side. I'm much happier with this side. This side is the um, the driver's side, I believe. Yeah, um, and there's there's no defects. All the weave looks perfectly fine. Um, there's no buildup of the resin anywhere. This one looks way better. Um, so I guess it is just that one side. So hopefully they can just send me out that one side and not have to destroy uh, both of these. I would hate to do that because this one is perfect. Um, it's just a shame, you know, this is the second time uh, I've had to deal with this and um, last carbon fiber part that I did get from them <laughs> uh, I had an issue so but they did take care of it so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bash on them at all they were really good to me and they got it out really quickly and I was happy with uh, what I got after that so um, again this one is just not up to my standards I'm not gonna put this on my car um, and I don't think anybody would either especially for the price um, so that that uh that kind of wraps up unfortunately it kind of left on a, on a sour taste here there you guys go uh that's my unboxing video for all the new parts that came in again there's going to be more um uh more coming in this week hopefully and i'll be sure to update you guys and do an unboxing for those uh but for now um i'm going to uh get in contact with subi speed to try to get this resolved uh so this install these pieces are going to have to wait but everything else i can do a video on uh, and get in installed for you guys um, so I will update you guys once I hear back from them and see what they do. Uh, hopefully they don't make me break this because um, I don't want to. I didn't like doing that. Uh, and uh, hopefully they'll just say, hey, keep it. We'll send you another one. Because, um, again, this is the second time it's happened to me. Um, so hopefully that doesn't happen. Uh, but, yeah, that kind of wraps up my unboxing video. Uh, next videos will be the install of these three things here. Uh, we'll have to wait on this one, as I said. Um, and I'm going to go over in depth of how to do it, how to install, you know, what I think afterwards, how the fitment is and all that. So anybody that is interested in these parts uh, will have a better idea uh, about everything that you need to know before you buy it. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Be sure to like the video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do so. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, and yeah, that's it for this video. And thanks for watching.